Hi, this is Kevin England with a quick introduction of this video. The video you're about to watch features Northwest New Jersey Beekeepers Association member Roger Gares. Roger is discussing some of the pros and cons of his custom feeder design and some of the challenges that he had along the way. He also does a demonstration on how he dusts his hive with powdered sugar. The video was shot mostly because I had my phone and decided why not shoot video so it's not the best quality and you'll hear me have a little conversation on the side but in the end it's an interesting demo so I posted it. In the demo Roger dusted the top hive and didn't dust each individual super. Several recommendations as of late are indicating that each individual super should be dusted as the powdered sugar doesn't always make it down into the bottom box. Incidentally, it should be noted that Roger at one point is tapping on the frames to knock the sugar down and this is by design. While most beekeepers are told that jostling a hive is not desirable, Roger is following a method as learned. The premise of this is that tapping on the frames as part of the powdered sugar method delivery, the tapping on the hives is knocking the sugar down into the hive and causes the bees to stir up inside and distribute the powdered sugar within. It should also be noted that Roger is pretty handy when it comes to woodenware and is using a custom made frame for the sugar delivery that has a screen for sifting the sugar down into the hive. Here's Roger's demo and thanks to Roger for taking the time to show this to everybody who came out for this NWNJBA beekeepers meeting. A little bit heavy. It's got a stainless steel top onto it and it's got some foam insulation in between here. Uh, I thought it was a great idea. I got some that is double ply and they're really kind of heavy if you're into them all the time. Okay, this is the pan that I made and that's the dead bees that I ended up having in it. How long was that in there? The next two days later they were like that. Is that for feeding purposes? This is the bottom I cut off. I put sticks and stuff into it. Figured they'd crawl out on the sticks. That didn't work either. So, uh, uh, I need, I better come get it. I forgot a high pool as usual. In the door, there's one. In your door? In the door. Yeah. I don't know. I, I don't have that bad. Do you? Top feeders or, or the. Uh, I don't feed top feeders. I, Some of them I called feed uh, with Mason Doris. Doris. I have top feeders and I have no problem with them. I think they're great. They take so much out of them. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think the advantage is, I mean, what do you, how much you can put a gallon each one, right? I get five well, I gallon pails, so it's two and a half gallons here. each one. That's great. Yeah. Because, man, I'm in my hive every other day. Little yeah. stores, and they had this honey super three quarters of the way full early on. This hive really came on strong, started collecting honey, and uh, all of a sudden, they ate it all up with so many bees and no pollen, had nectar flow. Wow. I even got these little pollen patty things in here for the top. These don't seem to be eating that much. Other hives they devour. <coughs> Why do you think that is? Pardon? Why do you think that is? Maybe some of them got enough pollen they don't figure they need it. Now this one here I put a, uh -huh. a shallow frame feeder in this one here uh, so I don't have to go all the way down in. And I don't even see it or not. Here I'm pulling it out of it's half full. Uh, maybe I tip it the other way. You can see it's a shallow frame feeder for the medium. So you got to take two frames out from this one versus the one deep on the other one. Now uh, you see the top of it's all black when it bees here over this one side. So I'll smoke them a little bit to get them down. Normally, if there wasn't a lot on there, I just put this over top of it, like this. And uh, I'll block you guys. They say for two deeps like this here, uh, two cups of powdered sugar. I just guesstimate it. I used to measure it out last year and everything, and I just brush it around, make my little snow bees. They'll start coming out. Nice white bees. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 Bang this off. 
Make a little dust, knock this down in here. Done. I can close it back up. I just spilled sugar all over myself. They'll love me. And that's all there is to powder. That's quick. These ratchet straps are real nice. Uh, you strap it down, and it's that quick. You're done with the hive. You can move on to the next one or or whatnot. Uh, and and we'll, if you want, we'll come back a little bit later, and you'll see. You won't believe how many mites come because these should have been dusted earlier this week, but I left to go for a demonstration today. sell the foam. It fits snugly in there. Mm -hmm. uh, to me, the, the, you're just going to collect the condensation. It'll insulate the hive, yes, so the heat don't mm -hmm. escape out. But if you got the vented cover or, right here, then it will vent out, and I don't think you have too much of a problem with it. Uh, if this hive didn't have the screen bottom board, the whole front of this would be covered with bees. It's bearding all over it. Are you helping the bees by feeding or are you? Oh, yeah. uh, and when that question come up about the top of the feeder, I, 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 I,